President Widodo and I reiterated our shared commitment to the development of Kenya-Indonesia relations and the full pursuit of all partnership opportunities available to us in the various priority areas we have identified. And I have asked uh, my good brother to consider another visit to Kenya. And I have also told him that at an opportune moment, I will uh, take a visit to Indonesia to scale up what we have agreed in Nairobi in his visit. Thank you very much. Welcome, Mr. President. This value addition uh, ventures will catapult the value of our trade relations and leverage on the comparative advantage of Kenya to access the East African and the African market, and for Indonesia, for us to also access the ASEAN market uh, in that region. We have additionally discussed the importance of entering into a bilateral investment treaty, as I have said, that will provide a stable and predictable investment environment, which is a precondition for accelerated private sector investment. We have tasked our two joint teams to finalize these pieces of agreements. I have informed uh, His Excellency the President that Kenya is open for business. A significant step in this direction must remain the relaxation of and progressive abolition of visa restrictions to enter or to entry between our two nations. On our part as Kenya, we have taken the decision to extend the visa-free entry not only to holders of diplomatic and service passports, but to all holders of Indonesian passports. So our friends from Indonesia can now come to Kenya visa-free. I also had the pleasure to brief His Excellency the President on the upcoming Africa Climate Summit to be held in Nairobi from the 4th to the 6th of September this year, underscoring the primacy of cooperative approaches in the search for solutions to the most pressing global challenges of our time. And I appreciate Mr. President has um, informed me that they will be holding almost a similar fit in Indonesia between the 5th and the 7th, but he has graciously agreed to send a delegation at the ministerial level to represent Indonesia in our Africa Climate Summit. This visit by Your Excellency reaffirms the strong bonds of friendship between our nations and show our interest in deepening and strengthening our partnership to enable us thrive now and into the future. During our discussions, President Widodo and I seized the opportunity to share ideas about scaling up on collaboration to seize an emerging opportunity towards improving the balance of trade between our two countries. The position at the moment is that we are uh, importing close to um, 500 million do dollars of products of different categories from Indonesia, and we export just under 100 million dollars of product. That speaks two things. Number one, that we have an uneven um, trade imbalance, uh, and also that the scope is not what we would expect. Both those give us the two opportunities to balance our trade, but to also scale up uh, our trade between our two countries. The instruments that have been signed here will go a long way in providing the necessary environment for us to scale up that trade. I have also agreed with my good brother, President Vidodo, and our delegations that we will be working on a preferential trade agreement between our two countries that will be concluded 
as has been instructed by the President and I in the next 90 days so that we can provide an even clearer uh, platform and, and, and an opportunity for private sector, public sector, and partnerships in different configurations to enhance the trade between our two countries. Our respective ministers will continue to engage in bilateral discussions to conclude additional frameworks of cooperation in agriculture, education, and other areas of mutual interest to anger business-to-business -business relations, which is the lifeblood of our thriving interstate cooperation. Six additional MOUs have been signed between our trade facilitation institutions during this visit in the following sectors, oil and gas, pharmaceuticals, edible oils, agriculture, including livestock, exports and apparel production. Uh, and let me say here specifically that uh, um, the great country of Indonesia expects our Kenyan livestock uh, sector to export at least 100,000 livestock to Indonesia every year. There is opportunity for the private sector to facilitate that. And um, there is also opportunity for uh, Indonesia to set up a crude refinery, um, uh, a crude palm oil refinery in, in Kenya, again, to make sure that we, don't, we not only facilitate um, palm oil from Indonesia to Kenya, but also to our region. So there are real possibilities of uh, investments in that space, and that is why the bilateral investment treaty will be necessary to ensure that the investments both ways are protected. We've also discussed trade and investment as well as collaboration in education and vaccine uh, development. Um, I'm happy to inform you that His Excellency President Widodo and I have witnessed this uh, signing of memorandum here in cooperation in different areas, in energy, which will facilitate investment in energy geothermal to be specific, transmission and distribution of the power that will be generated. There has been extensive engagements with the private sector on this subject, and um, it is my belief that this will yield results very shortly. We have also witnessed the signing of cooperation agreement in mining and geology, which will involve joint studies, knowledge sharing, and capacity building between our two uh, countries. I did send already uh, officials from our Ministry of Mining earlier last month, led by the permanent secretary from that ministry to go and work with their Indonesian counterparts, especially on building our capacity around our geology labs and facilities and knowledge. And I am very happy that today we have finally signed the, the MOU, sorry, that will make this a possibility and uh, I have requested His Excellency the President uh, for the very well-developed mining industry in Indonesia to work with us to unlock our own huge potential in the mining space. Our two nations have also concluded an MOU between the Kenya Pharmacy and Poison Board and the Indonesia Food and Drug Authority which will facilitate the strengthening, promotion, development, and implementation of regulatory cooperation in pharmaceutical products. Specifically, we have agreed with His Excellency the President that we should never find ourselves in the place where we did when the COVID pandemic hit, where we didn't have facilities to produce our own vaccines or pharmaceutical products and that it's time 
for us to work collaboratively and bring on board the private sector to ensure that we develop capacity and we ensure that we can produce vaccines and other products, pharmaceutical products, for our countries, especially in the global south. And I am very excited that uh, there is opportunity for both Kenyan and Indonesian companies to collaborate and our two countries to benefit from the access, easy access of pharmaceutical products.